there, it's me Katie Beth again. And today I'm gonna show you how to crochet some dishcloths to do your dishes with. And I also have, in the same way, you can make some heat pads or use them as potholders. And at the end of this video, there will also be another giveaway for this month. So stay tuned for the rules and I hope you enjoy this video. So we start with some cotton yarn. You can generally get it for about a buck fifty on sale at Michael's. Sometimes it's a little more than that. So first off, you just make your chain. And you make your chain for about as long as you want your dish towel to be. And then you flip it around and do a double stitch. Try your double stitch on the other side. I generally do like a lazy double stitch, where it's basically a single stitch. I just stitch it twice. Uh, the regular double switch stitch, you put an extra loop on there, which I just don't do. Uh, it comes out a little different when you do, and I don't like the extra holes that it makes. I'll just pause here for just a moment to show you what that looks like. So this is what an actual double stitch looks like, and this is what my lazy double stitch looks like. It makes the holes a little less far apart and less likely to burn myself if I'm using it for a pot holder. And I just like the thickness that is not this. The double stitch just isn't quite as nice as my lazy double stitch in my opinion. So back to finishing off the dishcloth. Continue with your rows until you have it about the size you want. For mine, I wanted a little square, and I couldn't quite decide if it was square or not, and, then, and I was too lazy to actually count, so I just kind of folded it over to see if it was about the size and pretty much a square. So this is how you end your cloth. You cut off the side, like cut off the tail, and then you put a little needle on there, and then you just hide the end of your string in the dishcloth. I generally do it around the edges or put it through the dishcloth, but I try to do it so you won't be able to see the tail. And here's how you make it into a heating pad or a pot holder. You take two of them and just sew them right together. And see, I did it on this one already. And it just gives it that double thickness so you don't burn yourself and you can pull things out of the oven and not hurt your hands. As you can see, the thinner one wouldn't offer quite as much protection. Okay, so giveaway rules. Here's some of the items that you can win. I have a set of four of these lovely ones like uh, Kayla, same kind that I made you for your housewarming. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Uh, so. So it's a set of four. You got two of the beige ones and two of the pink ones. And also, I have some that are like the ones I made for my kitchen. Tiny little dish shells here. And my kitchen's more of like a Tiffany blue. This was the closest color I could find. Have these here. Set of four of these. Or also up for the contest, I have this set of blue and brown and beige ones set of four of those and a little larger set of green and purpley ones there you go and then just two green ones that's one set oh yep yeah. so those are the ones I'm giving away so the contest rules are to starting today which is Saturday February 25th running all the way through March 4th you'll have a chance to enter for the drawing. Now to enter, all you have to do is one, be subscribed to my YouTube page, two, like this video on my YouTube page, three, comment on my YouTube page that you would like to win, and four, all entries must be received by Saturday night, March 4th, 2017, and five, winners will be notified by Monday, March 6th, 2017, if you have won. Thank you for watching everyone and have a great night.